Just under an hour north of San Francisco lies Sonoma County, best known as part of Northern California's wine country. What some people don't know is that the tasting rooms and vineyards only scratch the surface of Sonoma County's beauty. I'm Robbie Dirth, lifetime Sonoma County resident, local realtor, husband, father, and adventurer. And today I'm gonna to show you what I'd do on a day trip to Sonoma County's Redwood Forests. Today we're loading up the car and heading out to one of my favorite places on the planet, Armstrong Redwoods. Armstrong Redwood State Natural Reserve is located three miles north of Guerneville on Armstrong Woods Road. The reserve encompasses 805 acres. Trails here are rated mild to moderate. Most hikes are less than a couple of miles in length. The neighboring Austin Creek Recreation Area was closed due to the Wall Bridge fire. Currently, camping is prohibited due to the closure of Austin Creek Recreation Area. Depending on the time of year, you'll likely want to dress in layers, as the park experiences a big shift throughout the day due to the coastal fog burning off. Before we head out to the park, let's talk logistics. We'll start on Highway 101, which cuts through Sonoma County. Head towards Northern Santa Rosa and take the River Road exit. If you're with a coffee lover here, you can stop at Badass Coffee to grab some caffeine before you head out. Once you've stocked up and caffeinated, head west on River Road towards Guerneville. If this produce market in the little town of Fulton is open, it's definitely worth a stop. Continue along River Road through the Russian River Valley as you head west, past the Russian River Pub, which was featured on an early edition of local personality Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. You'll pass through a few little towns. Eventually, you'll pass Corbell, known for its California champagne, or bubbly, depending on how big of a wine snob you are. This is a fun spot to stop and stretch the legs and maybe grab a bottle and a bite. Shortly after passing Corbell, you'll enter the tiny town of Rio Nido, which flows seamlessly into Guerneville, a small seasonal resort town popular among city dwellers and locals alike. Once you're ready to head to the park, you'll want to turn north on Armstrong Woods Road. Two to three miles north of town, you'll arrive at the entrance to the park. Depending on when you're traveling here, you may have to turn around and park along the main road. Make sure you find parking off the road, not blocking a driveway or traffic, and watch out for vehicles. Armstrong Woods charges $10 per vehicle to enter the park or to park in the main parking lot at the park entrance. Okay, let's go put it on the cart. Just like that. And just put it down, laying down, laying down flat, yep. If you're traveling with kids, it may make sense to bring a stroller or a wagon. Make sure that the wheels are rugged enough to handle dirt paths. Typical middle child, always messing with my stuff. The visitor center is open from 11 to 3 daily and their phone number is 707-869-2958. There are many different hiking and walking trails throughout the park, one for all fitness and ability levels. My personal favorite is to head past the kiosk from the ranger station and hop on the Armstrong Nature Trail. This will likely be the best route for a self-paced leisurely stroll for those focused more on the views than the fitness. This trail will take you past the Parson Jones tree. The Parson Jones tree is the tallest tree in the grove, measuring more than 310 feet in height. This is longer than the length of a football field, and it's an easy 0.1 mile walk from the park entrance. The trail will also take you past the Colonel Armstrong tree. The Colonel Armstrong tree is the oldest tree in the grove, estimated to be over 1400 years old. It is named after the lumberman who chose to preserve this portion of the park in the 1870s. This tree is located within an easy half mile walk of the park entrance. We often finish our time in the park by connecting to the Pool Ridge Trail. Today we decided to stop in the picnic area. The picnic area is compiled of several different sites. There are bathrooms out here with flush toilets. Keep in mind both the bathrooms and the picnic area can get crowded on busy days so plan accordingly. But today the temperatures were climbing into the 90s which is honestly a rarity here. So we decided to head back the quickest way possible, which is along the paved road. Probably a good idea too, because I picked up a couple extra riders in the stroller. And that's our day in Armstrong Redwoods. From here, you can either head back east into central Sonoma County to continue your day, or if you're trying to pack more activities into a single day, you're already part way out to the Sonoma Coast. Check back for more day trips to see more about the Sonoma Coast day trips that we take 
and check out the link in the description for my list of top day trips in Sonoma County. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more real-life Sonoma County videos just like this one. Thanks for watching!